Hey, how's it going? So I'm trying to uh, ditch the mouse. I'll, I'll tell you why at the end of the video if you're if you're interested. But for now, all you need to know is that I'm trying to use the mouse less. And if I'm actually being really honest, I don't I don't even have a mouse. What I what I have so this is this is what my keyboard looks like. I've got a trackpad here, and I've got a track point. So I'm trying to ditch basically anything that seems like a cursor input, like a track point, trackpad, mouse. Uh, wheel, anything like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to stop using all of those things. So I don't have an actual mouse, but I do have a trackpad and a track point, and I want to use them less. Uh, the irony is that I'm I'm going to be using them for this video just to point at things for you. They are useful sometimes. Okay, so the first thing I did uh, was I disabled the trackpad, and and that was pretty easy. Okay, so let's start off by looking at my X init RC. Uh, this is the file that runs when my uh, X uh, window server, I believe it's called, um, starts up. So this file's run um, basically any, every time my desktop boots up. Okay, so uh, I do a few different things in here. I set my keyboard to Colmac. That's a whole another story. But this is this is the line right here that disables my uh, touchpad. So it makes it so that my touchpad doesn't work at all. Um, and so if if I run this. Uh, that's disabled my touchpad. Now, how does that actually work? Let, let's look. So X input, so there's, there's two major commands here, right? X input disable, and it's gonna be run on the result of this uh, subshell. So let's look at the subshell first. X input, uh, so what does that give me? This gives me a list of all the inputs to, uh, to my uh, computer. So I've got um, a track point, which you saw earlier, Synaptic, this is my trackpad. I had to figure out that this is my trackpad. These are all pointers, right? Um, then I've got a bunch of different keyboards and cameras and things like that. Okay, so that's what X input shows me like that. Okay, next I grep for synaptics because that's the name of the uh, ThinkPad. So that's the whole line right there. And then uh, I do something kind of wild. So I'm grepping dash O, which means only return the actual result uh, of what you found. So don't return the whole line, just with the actual matching result. And then dash uppercase P, this means use Perl regex. Uh, I thought dash E meant Perl regex, but apparently dash P does, uppercase P. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into all of this stuff. It's actually beyond my knowledge, but um, this is basically doing a look at. So I'm saying find ID equals, and then grab me that number, okay? Great, so it's number 16, right? ID equals 16, so I'm grabbing the number 16. Okay, so I'm taking all of that and I'm passing that to X input disable. So X input disable, the result of this is 16. So X input disable 16, that's gonna shut off my trackpad. So now my trackpad is off, I can't use it anymore. Okay, so now that my trackpad is actually off and I can't use it, that leaves me with just the track point, right? So I've only got this as my main input. And this thing got, took a little while to get used to, but it's actually really, really convenient. I've kind of fallen in love with it. One of the best things is that it's right on the home row. So uh, I never, my hands never have to leave the home row. And especially since I'm using Colmac, my, my fingers are always right there. So uh, so I still have the track point, but I found that I'm, I'm too reliant on it. I actually spend most of my time kind of going back and forth on web pages, moving this thing around, uh, following it, almost, almost like I have a finger and I'm trying to follow it around the web or something like that. Anyway, it, uh, it's not good. I really want to use the keyboard more. So now I need a way to disable the track point, at least temporarily. Okay, so like anybody would, I uh, wrote a program to disable my track point. So uh, let, let's look at this thing. It's a bash script. It's pretty simple. So the first thing we're doing is we're checking, do you pass the argument on? If you do, okay, we're going to X input enable the track point. So this is the same thing as we we're doing with the, the uh, track pad before. Now it's the track pad. If uh, the first argument is off, then we want to disable it. And then, uh, so, so, so just looking at that first, right? So I've got track uh, point on like that. So I can move my track point and then I can do track point off. And now my track point stops working, right? Okay, so track point on, it's back again. Okay, great. But if you don't pass any arguments, right? So uh, line seven here, if you don't pass any arguments, then every five minutes, it's going to shut off the track point. So, so uh, what does that mean? So that means that I can be using my track point and then, uh, you know, I turn it on and then even if I forget to turn it off, it's gonna turn off again after five minutes. So it's gonna kind of force me to start using the keyboard because all of a sudden my track point won't work and I'll go, oh right, I don't wanna use the track point, I wanna use the keyboard. 
Okay, let me give you an example of how this actually works. So uh, let me just change the sleep time here to, uh, to uh, 10 seconds, something like that. Okay, great. So uh, I run track point. So my track point is disabled. Maybe I want to turn it back on. So I do track point on. Now I can use it, but in a few seconds, it's just going to stop. There we go. Track point disabled. So it's going to turn off on me. So instead of 10 seconds, I actually have five minutes because normally if I turn it on, I want to use it for at least five minutes. Okay. So you might be wondering now, if you don't have your trackpad and you don't have your track point, that leaves you without any kind of uh, pointer device. So how can you actually navigate anything? Uh, and uh, actually it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So um, obviously the terminal, I don't need anything. I can use Vim and uh, I can do everything just with my uh, keyboard, right? It's actually blasphemy. I think you, they lock you up in some kind of Linux jail if you uh, use your mouse with Vim. So that's no problem at all. But most of what people do these days on a computer is actually use their web browser. And uh, as you can see, the web is or at least the web feels pretty uh, cursor based, right? Pointer based. So like I go and I click on things, I go and I click on things. Um, but you can actually get away without using the cursor. So I'm gonna, what I have is a plugin called uh, Vimium right here. And um, there we go, Vimium. And what that lets me do is that let me, let me use uh, Vim keys to navigate the web. So uh, I can use my normal Vim keys to go up and down. But the killer feature for this is if I hit F at any point, It'll give me a, a bunch of letters on the screen and I can click on any one of those and uh, it'll take me to, it'll, it'll be like clicking that link, right? So again, I hit F and I can see the visible links and then I hit S, there we go, Tom's blog. Um, so capital G, go down to the bottom of the page, GG, go to the top of the page. I know my browser is shortcuts too, so um, I'm able to you know go to a different website, something like that. Okay, so why would you actually want to try and give up your mouse? Well, there, there's a few reasons. Some of them good, some of them not great. First, um, and this is probably the biggest for me, is it's comfort. So having my key fingers on the home row the whole time uh, is pretty great, right? So never having to take my fingers off the keyboard, just typing away uh, in, in Colmac is, is pretty great. And then um, let's say I actually need to do some kind of navigation, being able to do that from the keyboard, uh, feels really good. Okay, the second one is speed. So in theory, if you're actually really good at using just the keyboard, um, you can do things a lot more quickly. Uh, now, this this has not actually been borne out in, in my practice. I'm actually slower than I would be with the mouse, but I'm hoping that this is an idea of sort of local maxima versus, you know, ultimate maxima. Is that is that the right term? But the idea being that like I can get to a certain speed with my mouse, but uh, if I give up my mouse, I'm gonna get slower uh, before I eventually get much faster. Hopefully, we'll see. It's more convenient to not have to use a mouse so I can just bring my laptop anywhere. And uh, if I have a mouse or not, doesn't matter. I can navigate perfectly fine without it. Um, you know, how often are you actually in a place where you're not using a mouse? Not very often, uh, but it's kind of nice to be able to be in that situation. Accessibility is actually a huge reason. So if you can't navigate a website using Vimium, that website is probably a little bit broken. And uh, that's not necessarily the fault of the developers. Like, it's hard to know these kinds of things. But like, if I look at my blog here, um, when I hit F, right, it's going to let me click on all these links because these things are actually styled properly. These are actual links. Um, I'm not doing some kind of weird JavaScript hackery to make these things work. Um, but had I been doing some kind of weird JavaScript hackery to make those things work, then, uh, the links won't actually show up properly. So when I'm building out a website, it's great for me to be able to try and navigate the entire thing just using my keyboard, right? So using tab um, or, or using Vimium, something like that. Like try it out on, on any major website and uh, you'll find that you're actually able to do it pretty well. And they, they've actually coded uh, their website thinking about people who can't, for one reason or another, use a mouse, right? There are some people who physically can't use a mouse, uh, other people who choose not to, right? So, um, you know, GitHub, it's gonna work perfectly. It's gonna work flawlessly, but your portfolio site, maybe not, right? Maybe it won't work. And uh, if it doesn't, that's an indication that you probably need to retool a thing or two. All right, the last thing, I, I think it's cool. I know it's not, like like it's decidedly uncool, but I think it's cool. Yeah, there's actually a final bonus reason that I forgot to include, and that's that I eventually wanna buy a mechanical keyboard um, because 
you know, typing on this uh, laptop keyboard all day is not great. Um, but the problem is I don't have a trackpad. I don't have a mouse. Um, so if I'm going to use a track point for, for any pointing that I actually do need, then I need to get a mechanical keyboard that supports track point. And I think there are two. And the one that I'm actually kind of interested in is, uh, is this one, the ultimate hacking keyboard. Um, right. So it's got a track point, right. Module that you can uh, click in here, but the problem is this, this keyboard, I don't even think the track point module works yet. Like I don't think they've actually released it. I think this is just aspirational. Um, and, uh, it's also really expensive. So I'm limited because I'm sticking with the track point and not using a mouse. I'm kind of limited to, uh, just this keyboard. And I believe there's one other, the Yoda or something like that, but I, I like this split. So this is really the only one I could ever actually use. So if I was able to give up the track point entirely and, uh, just go keyboard based, then I could choose any mechanical keyboard. I'd be, I'd be free. What a world to live in. Now you, you may be screaming at your screen right now. Uh, again, if you made it this far, congratulations. But uh, you may be screaming at your screen saying, there's another input method that you can use to control your pointer and that's mouse keys. Yes, there is. I found this out um, while I was uh, preparing to make this video. So mouse keys, so I've actually got this set up. So you can set up your um, Linux. Uh, so, so it's again, it's Xorg. You can set up Xorg to use mouse keys look into it. It's not that hard. Uh, and I, and I've got it done. It is not great. Okay. So this is, this is what it looks like using, using mouse keys. So, uh, I have not been able to figure out how to increase the acceleration. So this is crazy slow, but I can still do things, right? I can pick this up, move it around, whatever. So now I don't need the track point. I can do everything using mouse keys, but it's cumbersome enough that I won't want to. So uh, I can always just switch back to um, just using the keyboard uh, now that my track point and my trackpad are going to be completely always disabled uh, unless I'm doing screencasts, in which case I do to actually need a pointer to kind of show everyone what I'm pointing at, that kind of thing. I actually don't know if I, if I want mouse keys to be better or to be, to be just as bad as they currently are. So it's kind of nice how bad they are because this is crazy painful to, to actually do anything, right? Like, let's say I want to change tabs right now. I want to go up to the ultimate hacking keyboard. I can either hit alt two and I'm there, or I, uh, I can go back to it and then I can slowly go up, go diagonally over up, 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 and click it. And that's terrible enough that it'll probably encourage me to actually use, uh, the keyboard navigation, hopefully. Okay. If you made it this far, you're either me or somebody I know, or somebody who's really actually into this stuff. And in which case I'd love to hear what you think about, uh, you know, what are you using for your point pointer? Are you using a mouse or using a track pad tra track point? Something I don't even know about. If so, teach me. If you know how to make uh, mouse keys accelerate better, let me know. Uh, I'd be, uh, I'd be really appreciative. Always looking to learn. Anyways, thanks for watching the video.